Happy Monday, it's Eric Plattenberg. So I observed multiple times this last week people trying to control or manage other people's emotions. And uh, my Happy Monday post today is about how futile this is and how actually destructive it is for you to be trying to macro or micromanage other people's emotions. Here's what I mean by that. When you're clear about what needs to be done or what you need to do, then stop worrying about how other people are going to respond to that. And there's a couple of reasons why. Number one is, is that fundamentally other people's reaction, other people's response to you will always be theirs. It's their business, it's their experience, and fundamentally you can't control that. You could make a request, the exact same request of two different people. One person thanks you and the other person is pissed. Well, fundamentally that's their experience so you don't have a whole lot to worry about it. Now I say this because so often uh, like in the example that I had this week, there's an entrepreneur and she needs to raise some capital. She's got a great business plan, she's got great projections, and she needs money. So her block is, is that she's really worried about how other people are going to react or respond to her if they have to say no. Maybe they'll be angry, maybe they'll be offended. Hey, the way I look at it, some people may be angry or offended. And then other people will be very grateful. They'll thank you for the opportunity. They'll want to get involved. Managers experience this a lot of times when they notice something that they could do to coach or train or improve somebody on their team's performance, but yet they get all squirrely about directly talking about it. And then the flip of that, oh, we had a great one this week in our company where um, somebody in our finance department sent me an email and said, you know, Eric, I was really uncomfortable about X, Y, and Z. Um, you know, in this meeting or in the situation. Now, I take that as a great example of somebody that is just clear on what they're doing, clear on how to communicate, and then totally out of my and the rest of the company's business about how they will respond. People are going to get upset from time to time. That's not your fault. People are going to be disappointed from time to time. That's not your fault either. Your job is to get clear with you. Your job is to land on how do you feel and what is the impact and the progress that you're trying to make. Now I'm not saying don't take other people into consideration. You want to be kind. You want to be thoughtful. You want to take other people's experience into, into consideration and not be abrasive or step on other people's toes. But it fundamentally, once you're clear and once you know what you want, get out there and put it out there and other people's experience will be just that. It'll be their experience. Now, for you to take this mindset and really live it, the reverse is true. Your anger, your disappointment, your frustration, it's never your partner's fault. It's not your spouse's fault, your boss's fault, your customer's fault. Your experience in the world with other people, whether they're abrasive or not, is fundamentally owned by you. And the more that you can own that, the less you're gonna run around trying to mitigate and manage what other people do and the clearer you're gonna get about you. A clear, on purpose, kind, thoughtful you will always get the best result with other people. So this does have two sides of the coin. Play around with this week, consider where are you giving away your power and allowing other people to take the blame for your anger, frustration, or disappointment. And at the same time, notice where are you holding back? Where are you not saying something? Where are you refusing to fully show up because you're trying to manage other people's emotions? Questions about that, let me know. This is, in my opinion, a super, super important topic, both on interpersonal relationships and just forward progress. Let me know your questions, and most of all, have an amazing week.